Uh, good morning and thanks for the opportunity at uh, presenting at the Explorers Conference. This photo that you can see here is part of a 20 metre face from the stage one at the Gruyere pit. This is all ore. This forms part of over 1,200 metres of strike of material that will be mined in five stages over 10 years. Gold Road discovered Gruyere in 2013 and we're actively exploring to replete this success at Yamana and elsewhere. So Gruyere is delivering and it's become a free cash flow generator providing shareholders value and as well as funds for Gold Road to seek a meaningful discovery at our flagship um, that one? Yep. Yamana project as well at our, as our Yandina project in the southwest of Western Australia. From the discovery of Gruyere in 2013 to when it commenced production in 2019, Gruyere has delivered. It's a tier one gold asset. It has a long life and has low cost production. In 2020, it produced, in a year of transition, transitioning to fresh rock mining, it produced over 250,000 ounces. It's 2021 guidance, production guidance for this year is between 260 and 300,000 ounces. Just this week, a three-year mine outlook was released, which will see throughput increasing to 10 million tonnes per annum and gold production increasing to over 350,000 ounces. As part of the growth strategy changes, is this change in throughput, but there's also optimization of mining and processing, as well as increasing head grade. And in combination, these will mean that the three year outlook will be met. The other part of our growth strategy at Gruyere is looking at the underground potential. This week, Gold Road also released its resources, uh, resources and reserves statement. These indicate a 20% increase in Gold Road attributable resources to 4.5 million ounces. The increase is largely through the addition of the maiden underground resource at Gruyere, as well as incremental increases in mineral resources at deposits along, whoops, wrong way, at, along the Golden Highway. Gold Road's 100% owned resources remain unchanged and will be updated through 2021. Many, much of these is at our Gilmore uh, deposit where over 250,000 ounces of resources uh, have been um, um, estimated to date. The underground resource is the first step in mapping out the underground potential at Gruyere and potentially take the mine life well beyond its current 11 years. Gruyere mineralisation extends for over 1,100 metres below, uh, below surface and over 600 metres down dip of the current resource. To understand the scale of the mineralised system at Gruyere, a staged framework drilling program, some 12,000 metres, will take place in 2021. So this series of widely spaced holes will assess the continuity of mineralisation 
along 1,200 to 1,800 metres of strike, where we hope to identify widths and grades to support a potential underground mass mining operation in the future. Gold Road's other growth strategy is meaningful discovery. Gold Road is targeting a, st a standalone operation that will add over 150,000 ounces of annual production to its Yamana, in, in, within its Yamana project area. Following critical geological assessment of the whole Yamana project in 2020, Gold Road is focusing on high priority targets within this southern project area. This is an area of some 800 square kilometres. Out of a 2021 exploration budget of $27 million, approximately $20 million will be spent this year at Yamana, with 80% of this budget focused on this southern project area. Gold Road applies a systematic framework analysis to assess areas and to generate targets and a stage, stage gate approach to increase to exploration that will potentially increase the value of its exploration project pipeline. Yamana offers a compelling value proposition. It is a belt scale opportunity, some 180 kilometres in length. It is essentially an underexplored frontier greenstone belt. Recent transported cover effectively masks the underlying mineralising systems all of this in a region that is logistically challenging. Previous attention has focused on areas where there has been limited cover. However, the recent reacquisition of 100% ownership of the Southern Yamana Belt has resulted in this exciting opportunity for value adding discoveries to be made within this highly prospective southern project area. Over the past year, Gold Road has invested in building technical excellence into its exploration teams, systems and processes. A key plank to this is the implementation of framework studies, which lay the foundation for effective disciplined exploration. Through the integration of multiple scalable key data sets and information, a number of quality targets and target areas have been identified and ranked. Initially commencing in the second half of last year and continuing throughout 2021 and hopefully beyond, sees drill testing of these priority targets that have been identified through this process. We know that mineral systems are controlled by fundamental or first order features. Understanding the architecture of this framework, of these framework structures, many of which are lithospheric in character, have been and have been repeatedly reactivated over time, it's critical to be able to be predictive to where deposits may have formed. Critically, new integration of these key regional geophysical data sets has resulted in a breakthrough reinterpretation of the Yamana belt, which has highlighted this southern, uh, southern project area as a key area of interest. So in the southern project area, these fundamental structures have been mapped and a series of subsidiary third and fourth order fault networks have been identified. It is these fault networks that are the controlling structures for gold mineralisation. 
the resultant regional to deposit scale 3D model has been the key input to exploration targeting and is the key to unlocking the potential of this exciting terrain. But why focus on this area? It's 100% undercover. Where drilling has been undertaken, the, the, this southern project area has the right stuff. It has the key ingredients for gold mineralising systems. The types of ingredients that are seen in highly endowed terrains elsewhere in the eastern gold fields and elsewhere. These includes the right geometries of folds and faults. It includes the right um, major mafic rock types, differentiated mafic sills, etc. And it includes uh, recently identified fertile felsic intrusions, these so-called sanukatoids as well as lamprophires. These are key elements in any mineralising gold system. And all of this in an area that is 100% undercover, where a very systematic approach to air core drilling to sample the Archean bedrock is essential. Work to date has identified a number of large regolith anomalies, including at the Savoir and Beefwood area, and these are being followed up as we speak. In addition, initial bedrock drilling in 2020 has been very encouraging, including at Kingston, where early RC and diamond drilling has returned uh, intercepts such as five metres at nearly three grams from relatively shallow environment. A long strike from the Gilmore deposit up in here, where we know there's already uh, over, uh, over 250,000 ounces, is this Gilmore South target area. This is an area that we've been trying to get into for a number of years now. Access permits have only just been granted in, in the last couple of months of last year. And drilling will actively commence within the next month or so on this exciting target. Two of Gold Road's more advanced prospects continue to show encouraging results. At the Gilmore deposit, where there is an existing resource, there has been targeted programs that return economically gated resource growth. At Smoke Bush, in this area through here down to the south, targeted programs have returned high grade results. Uh, and a couple of those have been, have been shown on screen. There is an expected update to Gold Road's 100% resources 100% uh, owned resources is expected later this year. At Gold Road, using innovation is a key driver to enhance exploration success. Gold Road is, is trialling new technology. This is a picture of, of, uh, of, of the box scan, what we call the box scan, which is a automated core scanner that captures multiple data types. Gold Road is also making great strides in taking multiple field generated data and information and through applying various processes and analysis, we are able to produce a range of applications and outputs that are improving the exploration efficiency and effectiveness of our to, uh, of our um, exploration, which will hopefully lead to discovery. So in summary, just a couple of closing remarks. On the back of the discovery of the Gruyere deposit in 2013, and its successful development into a large, low-cost producer, Gold Road is well-placed and well-funded to explore its prospective and under explored Yamana and Yandina land packages. Gold Road has the right technically capable 
discovery-driven exploration team. And we now have the systems and processes in place to maximise the chances of success. Thank you.